Meanwhile, Senator Blumenthal is back here in Connecticut after traveling overseas to Poland, meeting with refugees fleeing Ukraine and with Polish leaders. Blumenthal is a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee and traveled with a bipartisan group of senators to reaffirm U.S. commitment to help with the humanitarian crisis. Fox 61's Lindsey Kane has that story. Senator Richard Blumenthal returning to Connecticut after traveling to the border crossing in Poland, saying the devastation in the eyes of the refugees that fled Ukraine is still with him thousands of miles away. What really will stick with me forever is the sights and sound at the border crossing, the terror and trauma in the voices and faces of those women and children. Blumenthal and bipartisan senators were just 12 miles from an airstrike Russian forces fired near the border on Sunday. He says Russian President Vladimir Putin is dangerously close to involving NATO allies. The ground at the border crossing shook, literally. The tremors were felt by the Polish military manning uh, sites very near the border. Vladimir Putin is incredibly reckless in bombing a site 12 miles from the border, in effect bringing this war to the doorstep of Poland and potentially implicating a NATO response. He says while he didn't see the damage in Ukraine, he saw the relief efforts from America paying off at the border, seeing piles and piles of donations for the women and children that evacuated, many leaving behind their brothers, sons and husbands to defend their country. Just incredible bravery, but also a humanitarian crisis of incalculable magnitude with women and children seeking shelter, food, clothing. They're leaving with just the clothes on their backs. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is addressing Congress on Wednesday. He's expected to plead for military aid from the U.S., Blumenthal says after what he witnessed at the border, he is proposing more economic sanctions on Russia and is in support of providing Zelensky what he needs to fight back. His case is compelling. He needs those air defenses, whatever tools Ukrainians need to stay in the fight, we should provide. The kinds of sights and sounds we heard at the border and that we have taken back with us are going to be a very compelling case to our colleagues. Lindsay Kane, Fox 61 News.